and welcome to Topper Machine. I'm Josh Topper. So today's job is to uh, true up some of these uh, trommel trunnion wheels. Uh, trommels are rotating drums and they ride on these wheels and over time they start to wear. Now a few weeks back or a month or so ago um, we did one um, that had a major failure and this is the one. It had a chunk come out of it. Um, these weren't on a regular maintenance schedule and that customer really didn't know. I mean there was Nobody told them when they bought the equipment. So I got them in contact with the customer of these and uh, they've been talking back and forth. And so they've got a ma maintenance schedule on these ones. These ones are in the maintenance schedule and so they got taken out and they're gonna get surfaced to true them up so they don't have this issue. Now, these are used in, in multiple applications, um, gold mining, uh, gravel screening, uh, wood chip drying. Um, there, there's multiple applications so they get used a lot. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to get it up in the Big Monarch and we're going to set up some new tooling that I picked up today to try it out. So we'll talk, talk you through that, but let me get these up in the lathe and we'll get going. Okay, so as you can see, we're not gonna clear, the cross slide isn't gonna clear the part to make this cut. So how do we do that? Well, I built the tool for that. I built it a long time ago because I've been doing a lot of these. And it's just an extension arm. So let me get this on there and I'll bring you in and show you how it works. Okay, so that just moves our, our cutter out here. It's uh, basically like a boring bar, it's just much heavier. This thing doesn't flex. This thing works really well for this. And then over here is our, where we bolt our cutter in. Um, just like a normal, normal uh, tool holder. So let me grab the new cutter and let's talk about that. Our new cutter, it's an Ultradex. Um, I've never heard of this brand before, but you know, for what I'm doing, this was inexpensive and it should work just fine. It's an MCYNN. 20-6D, and what it is, is this guy. It uses a CNMG insert. Uh, I'm running a 642, but it's using the other angle. Most cutters use this corner, this, this sharp corner, the tight um, angle. I'm using the wide angle for this purpose, and I just bought this to, tr um, I've got another one similar to it I use on the boring mill for uh, 442s or 432s. I have a bunch of these 643s or 642s and uh, also David from Foxburg's Fabric Cob Coblin, hint, hint, I know he's got a bunch of these. So we're going to get this in there and we're going to try this thing out and see how it runs.
that came out really nice. That cleaned up good. That was 25 thousandths um, from touch off to cut, and that insert held up beautifully. So, very nice. Uh, just spin her around here and take a look, make sure we didn't miss anything, but that's the big thing with this. We're taking a skim cut and we're just truing it up all the way around. And it looks, looks good, back to the grease spot, so perfect. Well, I'll get this out of here and we'll get the second one up and true that one up too.
Well, there it is, all done. Uh, came out absolutely perfect. Um, very smooth, nice finish. Uh, this new cutter, this uh, MCYNN. Um, it's an inch and a quarter uh, CNG 640 series um, insert. Uh, worked beautifully. So um, hopefully, David at Foxburg Faber Coblin sees this. He knows what I'm hinting at. Um, check out his channel, he's got some cool stuff. Anyway, this is all done. I'm gonna get this out of here, get it back on the carts and get them delivered to the customer and be happy they'll be back into service here soon and, and all will be well with the world. So with that, we'll end here. Um, please check out my website, www.toppermachine.com and please like, subscribe and share. Stay with us, see what's next, see what we're doing um, and share the content, help us grow the channel. So until next time, get out in your shop and get it done right the first time.